Hi guys, today I want to focus on the eyes. Actually, just underneath the eyes, and we're gonna show you how to get rid of those nasty bags when someone's tired. Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Steve Gerrard. I am a pro photographer here in Montreal, Canada. And today let's talk about getting rid of those nasty bags that you sometimes get under people's eyes, especially when you're doing portraits and especially if it's like a close up portrait where you can really see everything in detail. So for that, we are gonna go over to Photoshop on the computer and I'll show you very quickly how you can do that in Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and we have this headshot of a guy and as you can see, the areas under his eyes are pretty dark. So we wanna try and improve that, but we don't wanna make him look weird. We want it still look lifelike. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add another layer over here in the layers palette. And the quickest way to do that is to hit Command J. You can also right click on the background and then duplicate layer. Now I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. The quickest way, but not always the most accurate is the one that I use the most actually. And I would zoom in and over here, you're gonna find the patch tool and create a line around the area that you want to edit and then you're going to drag that area onto an area where the skin is nice and smooth and even and then that's going to look a bit weird because the opacity over here is still on a hundred percent if we bring that all the way down to zero it's going to go back to how it was and then we just gradually increase it and you'll see the area gets less and less dark Usually I find around 30% works okay. And you can see the same thing if we do that on this area. This is a very quick, rough way of doing it. And still it's on 29% there, so roughly 30. And you can see if we go to history, this is before and after. We can increase this if we think we need it just a bit more. We you obviously don't want to go all the way up to 100 because he starts to look like an alien. So for this guy, I'd probably leave it somewhere actually around 40%. So he still looks like a normal human being, but without those dark patches under the eyes. Then you can just flatten the layers and save it as a new image. If you want to be a bit more precise, this is the other way that you can do it. It takes a little bit longer, but it does work better in the end once you get used to it. Command J to add that new layer. And then we're gonna go down here and create a new layer, which we're gonna drag in between those two layers. Then we select this top layer, go up to filter, other, and high pass. Then you wanna bring this radius down until you can just start to see the bags under the eyes. So usually it's around five. Here it's a little bit less. Let's just leave it at 4.2, click okay. Then go back to the layers palette and change the blending mode from normal to overlay. Over on the left hand side, we're gonna click on the eyedropper tool, make sure the sample is current and below. Now I'm just gonna zoom in a little and select some of the lighter skin tone around his eyes. Then we'll go back to this center layer, which is the empty layer, and we're gonna select the brush tool. You can change the size of the brush with your square bracket keys like that. I like to keep the flow quite low, somewhere around 21%. Then we can zoom in just a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And we're just gonna start painting this color over the darker areas that we wanna reduce. You might think that's still a bit too much so we can drop the opacity here all the way down to zero and then bring it back up until we find something that we're happy with. So you can still see the bags, but they're a lot better than they were when we started up here. So there's our before, there's our after. So it's a really simple technique, but just to be a little bit careful with it. You don't want people to look like porcelain dolls. And once you kind of do it a couple of times, you'll find the level that you think works for you. So don't forget to subscribe. If you're not already, you can ring my bell anytime you want. And we will see you in the next video. It's gonna be a good one.